What's poppin' everybody, it's your boy Beast here, back with another video, hope everybody's doing good out there. In today's video, I just wanted to go over several things. First things first, for the challenge, the 3 lift body weight challenge, I wanted to thank everybody who participated. I know some of you guys, the viewers, were overwhelmed with the amount of entries that I put up, but that was the whole plan. Um, you know, I just wanted to highlight everybody who might have had a small channel or even if you're a subscriber that participated. So, hopefully, we'll do another one in the future, which most likely we will, but it won't be as um, so much overkill. I just do weight classes and then just post the top three entries. I posted a total of 42. So I just want to say thank you for everybody that participated. Thank you for everybody that watched. If you still haven't seen some of them, just go back and check them out. Some of these dudes really busted their ass. And, you know, they, they gave it their all. So make sure you go ahead and watch. Now, as far as the winner goes, the winner is Silverback Fitness. Uh, he had the most reps. So hit me up. I will, you know, get your address from you and you know we'll send that prize out to you as soon as possible all right once again thank you to everybody that participated it was actually a blessing in disguise because you know with that whole thing about my gym closing down and and all that i've really been down and out uh, my training has suffered i was even questioning whether or not i should go to the strength camp challenge because honestly guys this month is a critical part in my training it was a critical part in my training um, I built up to a way where this month I would be peaking out at some crazy numbers. Um, not only that, with it was just the way I programmed myself and you know what I was doing in the gym. It just, I just left me completely flabbergasted to be honest with you. Um, not in a point where I was depressed, but I was definitely upset and very sad behind my gym closing. Um, now, if you know, if you don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, my gym closed. The uh, local Planet Fitness, which is actually closer to me than my gym was, it ran my gym out of business. So I basically have been left without a gym. Now I do go to the gym that we have here where I live in, in these condos, but it doesn't even compare. You can't even call it a gym. It's more like a fitness center, All right? And even a fitness center, it might be a little too nice of a word to call it. There's really nothing there. Um, if you probably noticed, I'll probably put a little video right here in the corner of what it looks like. There's really not much there. There's not too many options. And not to mention some of the machines are actually broken at this point. I still make the most of it though. Alright, now, also, I've also been forced to join the enemy. Uh, yes, that's right. I guess you call me a sellout or whatnot, but... I can't just not be in a gym, I have to be in a gym. So I joined fucking Planet Fitness right around the corner from my house. That's right, Planet fucking Fitness. Now before I tell you about this gym, of which I know most of you know a lot about it already, let me explain to you something. Some of you think I'm still in New York. I'm not, I'm in Florida. If I was in New York, it wouldn't be a problem, man. I'd be in the hood in one of my homies' garages, lifting a barbell in all kinds of directions, but I'm not. If I was in New York, I would just jump on a train or a bus and I could be in any borough within minutes. I'm not in New York, I'm in Florida, I'm in Tampa, Florida. All right, now another thing, my license is suspended. I owe New York over $4,500 in tickets. So I can't just join another gym. I have to do what's local. My gym that I was going to, Sports Center, I used to walk there. I used to walk there and I used to walk back. Yeah, I could've took a bus, but you know, I like walking. It was a 45 minute walk there, it was a 45 minute walk back, and I did it without a problem and I did it consistently for over, you know, going on two years. Um, Planet Fitness is much closer than my old gym was, it's uh, less than a 10 minute walk, so I have no problem getting there, I have no problem getting back. If I had my license, which I will be getting back, hopefully before the summer, um, I would have joined either Powerhouse or elite strength and conditioning shit. I might have even joined fucking strength camp, you know, paid those extra dollars and just joined over there. It's only 15, 20 minutes away. Uh, you have powerhouse, you have the powerhouse dungeon, 
and they also have a Tampa barbell which is very very hardcore so is elite strength and conditioning is extremely hardcore and uh, most likely sometime this year I'll just break the contract with Planet Fitness once I get my license back and I will join a more hardcore gym now getting to this whole Planet Fitness thing shit is crazy in there man there's no squat racks there is no barbells. The heaviest dumbbell is 75 pounds. I was benching four plates on the Smith machine and they told me I couldn't do it. So I had to stick to three plates. I don't, I don't know what the carryover is with the Smith machine. I think it's only 20 pounds that particular bar, those particular Smith machines. But um, I was just doing uh, four plates for triples and they told me I couldn't do it. So, you know, um, you know me, I, I'm quick to say something back, but I was just like, you know what, man? Um, let me just shut the fuck up and not say nothing. I want to keep working out. Uh, it's, the whole gym, it's 90% cardio equipment. They have a tanning salon, massages, massage chairs, hydro massages. Um, one thing about Planet Fitness, though that I do like is the females it's full of females at any given time of the day it's 24 hours a 24 hour gym and it's there's always females in there so that's one perk but I'm all about my games you know females will come out there in the real world whenever but I'm all about my games and I can't do no deadlifts in there um, and it's only Smith machines so I'm gonna have to program something for myself where I still make gains or at least I don't lose any gains all right in the time being until I get my license back so that's that let you know catching you guys up to what I'm doing um, I will make sure I make more videos speaking to you keeping you in the loop especially this week I know I've been slacking but I hope you understand I just, my mind's been running around everywhere. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do, how I'm going to do it. So yeah, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next video, which will hopefully be tomorrow morning or tomorrow evening. All right, also another thing, I really don't know how much gym footage I'm going to get because even at midnight, I started going to the gym late at night and there's still a lot of people in there and you know, I don't want to, I really don't care. But I don't want to, you know, get somebody to complain and then I can't record, period. So I'm just, I might have to get a new camera, something more discreet. And in the meantime, maybe I could just record what I do here in the condo gym. Show you guys how I'm improvising on my training. Alright guys, I will step my game up with the recipes. I know I've been slacking on the recipes as well. Um, just be patient with me. See you in the next one. Y'all hold it there.